Hey everybody, this is William from the Godzilla Files coming in today with a new X Plus video and today we're going to be looking at 30 centimeter Ogera. Before I jump into this review, I just want to say sorry for the late video. I was waiting for this figure to come in before I did another video. So, you know, this is going to be my last video before G-Fest, but I'll talk more about that later. So for now though, let's take a quick look at the box. This goes without saying, this box is pretty freaking nice. I love the uh, cover here. When I saw this online, I was pretty actually excited for it. I, I I think this is just looks so good. Like all my other boxes, I am going to be cutting out the cover and just getting rid of everything else. But uh, yeah, now that we've kind of seen what this box looks like, let's jump right into the figure. All right, and here's the figure. So the first thing that I feel like really jumps out to you when you look at him is the paint apps. You know, first off, this guy is mostly silver, but they actually shade a lot of it, and it gives it a little bit more depth, in my opinion, which sometimes you don't really see in mechas. Like, you know, Mecha Godzilla 2 in the Heisei period, you know, he was just straight silver, and in some ways he didn't, he almost didn't seem real. Mulgara here has, you know, darker silvers, you know, a silver color here and there, and it just really makes him kind of stand out more in my opinion. You know, you have the blue here. The thing that I like about the blue on this guy is the fact that I think it really matches the blue that we saw in the film. And x Plus is really good with this, but a lot of the other figures I've ever seen of him, the blue always seemed a bit off to me. Like it was a brighter blue than it really should have been. So it was really good that they got that color down. And if you look up at his eyes, yellowy orange colored eyes, actually really brings it all together. The Rick boy, I believe, lights up. I wasn't gonna spend the money on a Rick, especially on this character, because Mogera, while I do like him, isn't one of my favorites. You know, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla is not a film that I have a great emotional attachment to, so I wouldn't really spend the extra money on it, but I can imagine having his light up, and it actually probably would look really good. So, you know, besides the paint apps themselves, there are also a lot of little detail that you probably don't see unless you look really up close on him. And I like that about, you know, a lot of the mechas. Even in, um, I'm gonna compare him again to the Mecha Godzilla. You know, it had little details all throughout the uh, body. And I never noticed that when I was actually watching the movie. So when I got to see that figure up close, you know, it's like, wow, there is a lot of detail. The same thing goes with Mogera. You can kind of see here on the side, like, you know, like little, little things all throughout here, even in the back or so. There's, you know, more details, you know, like the vents and stuff like that here. And, you know, it's pretty freaking amazing you know like I said like it really does add more to this figure and this goes without saying but this is probably the best Mogara figure that you can find you know before we go you know I'm just going to kind of do a quick run around here I love the buzz saws here you know I didn't realize they were that big I also didn't realize he had a tail I don't know why but Mogara you know I just for some reason when I thought about him he just I never remembered that he had a tail so it's always something interesting and I guess he you know has a little uh, jet here so they added that kind of detail and also even on the bottom here as well so like again just little details you know they didn't have to do anything here but yet though as i've come to expect from x plus they go that extra mile but also just like x plus he comes with a tail stand so you know, just be aware of that you don't really need it he kind of stands up by himself you know you can see kind of here my guy kind of got warped a little bit um it's been really hot by me so it's not really that surprising but you know the tail stand it is what it is I think at this point we're all kind of used to it. Um, his little hands here do move pretty well. I don't think his arms move. No, it doesn't feel like it. So I guess it's just his hands um, and maybe his drill nose. No. So only his hands move. When it comes to X Plus, you know, we don't always get a lot of movement. So, you know, any little movement is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, you know, like I said, this figure, pretty great. Can't go wrong with him. Before we go though, I would like to compare him with Base Godzilla. So this is the most important part. You know, how does he scale with, you know, the guy that he went up against? Base Godzilla. So here we go. Overall, you know, I think they are close to being in scale. I think Mogara might be a little too big, but you know, at the end of the day, I don't think it really bothers me all that much. You know, he probably should have come down just a little bit because, you know, his drill attack actually hit Space Godzilla here, like right around here in the movie. So he might be just a little too tall. You know, like I said, it's close. It's very close. Space Godzilla though is still huge. You know, Mogara is a big figure himself, but like when you compare the two, Space this Godzilla is just probably the biggest figure that I own. Like I was saying, this Mogera is probably the best you can go with. I strongly recommend picking him up if you can. I think he is still available at like Hobby Search and other Japanese websites. 
so definitely take a look. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Mogera. Did you pick him up or are you waiting? And just so everyone's aware, I probably won't be making a video for like the next week or two, only because I'll be getting ready to go to G-Fest next week and traveling. So I know I don't know if I'll have time to be making a video. Obviously, when I get back, I will kind of put together one big video of my time at G-Fest. So I'm really looking forward to that. I hope I see a lot of you there. And so, yeah, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video.